Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to exchange your Bitcoin for Monero. And I'm also gonna show you how to send Monero. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to exchange Bitcoin for Monero. And we're gonna go to shapeshift.io to do this. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is the website, shapeshift.io. It is a HTTPS website and it is a secure connection, so that's good. If you have not yet signed up for Shapeshift, go ahead and do so right here. You're going to need an email and you're going to need a password. On our team, we use the Tutanota email service, so I highly recommend using that. And as far as passwords go, we use keypass.info and we also recommend Dashlane. I'll show you those websites just really quick. This is Tutanota. This is where you get the email. So go ahead and bookmark that. And this is the password manager that we use, keypass.info. So go ahead and bookmark that. And the other password manager that we recommend on the team now is Dashlane. This is cool too because it's free for 50 passwords. So I definitely recommend that. And keep in mind that KeyPass is free too and so is Tutanota. So that's the email that I recommend putting into here. And as far as the password goes, you would wanna get that from your password manager. And then you just sign up and that's it. So go ahead and do that. What I'm gonna do is log in and it's asking for my two-factor authentication. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that really quick. So I just logged in right now. And what I'm gonna do is deposit Bitcoin because I'm gonna use Bitcoin to deposit. And for this video, I'm going to receive Monero. So I'm gonna find it right here. So great, we're going to exchange Bitcoin for Monero. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And this leads us to step number two here, which is to send Monero to my Monero wallet. If you have not yet signed up for a my Monero wallet, I'll show you what that looks like. If you have not created an account yet, go ahead and check out my previous tutorial on how to do that. But for myself, I'm going to log in here and I'm going to put in my login key. And then I'm going to click enter. This is my account. All I'm going to do here is copy and paste this address right here. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go back to my shapeshift here and enter my Monero address. Boom. So it's also asking for a Bitcoin refund address. So what I'm gonna do is go to my portfolio here and go to my wallet. What I'm gonna do is go to Bitcoin here and click receive. And then I'm going to copy and paste this address. And then I'll enter that into here. I'll skip the payment ID and click I agree and click that checkbox and click start transaction. So this is what Shapeshift is asking me to do now, but it's saying that it wants me to send Bitcoin to this address right here. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And what I'm going to do now is scroll down. It says awaiting deposit. So you're gonna go ahead and deposit Bitcoin to this address right here. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna convert it into Monero for you. So that makes it really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this address and go back to my Exodus account where I have my Bitcoin and click send under Bitcoin and I'll paste that address into here. Remember, you could always check the last six digits of these addresses. Mine says XPI for capital Y capital A. And if I go back to this, it's the same thing. XPI for capital Y capital A. So that's the right address. For this video, I'll send a test transaction first. So I'll go ahead and send $5. And I'm gonna say send and verify it. It says success, so that's good. And to be clear, we're gonna go back to Shapeshift here and we're gonna watch it change. Boom. And now it's awaiting an exchange. 
So we're gonna be patient for that. And I'm gonna come back to the video once that's complete. It looks like it just completed right now. So that's good. Step number three here is to verify the pending transaction on the Block Explorer. And the Block Explorer we're gonna use for this video is MoneroBlocks.info. And I'll show you what that looks like. This is the website right here. And it is a secure website. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go back to this xmrchain.net block explorer and we're gonna copy and paste this transaction hash right here and we're going to paste that into Monero blocks. And perfect, it does show up right here. And it says that the output total is confidential, but it says that it did send something right now. So that's fine, Monero is known for their privacy, so I'm not surprised that they keep this information confidential here. But that's how you search the transaction on Monero blocks. So what we're gonna do now is step number four, confirm the transaction is received. And we could do that both on the Block Explorer and we could also do it on mymonero.com. This red number right here says that I received it. However, it's still unconfirmed, but I know that it's the correct address. So we're gonna move on to step number five here, which is to send the rest of the Monero to the My Monero wallet. And we're gonna first verify that the test transaction worked, and then we could whitelist the address if needed. So part A here, which is to verify the test transaction. Again, the way you do that is to look at this right here, the transaction history. And it's saying that it's pending and that it's gonna show up in my balance. The way that we do step number five here is to go back to step number one, which is to exchange Bitcoin for Monero on Shapeshift. So I'm gonna show you that process once more. I'm gonna go back to Shapeshift here. And if you recall, this is my last order. And what I'm gonna do is click on the top here where it says shapeshift.io. And I'm going to click receive here and choose Monero. and I'll click continue. And it wants me to put a Monero address, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that again. And I'm gonna copy and paste this address right here. Go back to Shapeshift and paste that in. And I'm also gonna go back to my Bitcoin address here and click receive and click copy address so that I could put it into here, which says your Bitcoin refund address. I'll skip the payment ID and click this checkbox to say I agree to the terms and certify that I am the beneficial owner of the input assets and the destination address. And that's true, so I'm gonna click that and click start transaction. And here's the order processing once more. So we're gonna have to deposit Bitcoin into this address, so I'll copy that and I'll go back to my Exodus account where I have Bitcoin and click send and then paste that address into here. And if you recall, last time I sent $5, this time I'm gonna send $95 because I wanna do $100 uh, send and receive videos. So I'll stick with this $95 option and click send. And it says, are you sure? I'll say yes. And transaction is sent. So that's good. I'm gonna go back to Shapeshift here and it's saying that it's pending confirmation already and that it's awaiting the exchange. So we're gonna have to wait for this exchange to process to continue the video. So go ahead and wait for that too and then continue playing the video once that's done for yourself. And to be clear, we're doing step number five, which is to send the rest of the Monero to the My Monero wallet and you can whitelist the address. What this means is you don't have to send a test transaction anymore to this address because you know that it's gonna be sent to a specific account. So you would have to save that address somewhere safe. And for example, you could use a password manager to do that. So let's go ahead and wait for that to process and I'll come back to the video. So the exchange is complete and it's all done. And the way to confirm that is to go back to my, my Monero here and I'll have to re-login to verify it. And what's good is that 
there's two transactions in here worth a hundred dollars in Monero uh, pending. So I'm actually just gonna have to be patient for that. So we could do step number six here, which is to send the Monero from our or your my Monero wallet to another Monero address. And we're gonna send a test transaction and then we'll send the rest of the money. What I'm gonna do for that is send Monero to a second my Monero address. So I'm actually gonna have to log out and then log in into a second account and then send the Monero there and, and show you what that looks like. So I'll come back to the video once I'm ready for that. And if you notice right here, the test transaction just got approved and is confirmed. So now we're just waiting for the full amount to be sent and that's gonna take a few more confirmations. So I'll come back to the video once that's done. Okay, so it looks like my account finally received the $95 that I sent myself and it probably took less than 10 minutes to do. So that's good. We're gonna move on to step number six here, which is to move the Monero inside this wallet to another address by sending it. And we're gonna send a test transaction first. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna to have to log out of this account and what I'm gonna have to do is log in to my second account. So if you have not yet created a second account for Monero, uh, I highly advise it. That way you could split up your accounts. So go ahead and create a new account here and go through that process of getting a new private login key. And again, the private login key is what you need to uh, access the wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to the second account here. I'm gonna click enter. And this is my second account here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this address. What I'm gonna do now is log out of this account. And what I'm gonna do is log in to the first account now. So now that I'm back in the first account, what I'm gonna do is click send here on the top. And what I'm going to do is paste that same address that I got from the second account and then I'm going to send a test transaction. So a test transaction for a Monero would be, for example, uh, 0 0.02, and I could skip the payment ID and click send, and it's generating right now and submitting, and there you go. The transaction is successfully sent. But the way that we can check this is by logging out here and then logging back in into the second account. And once I do that, you'll see that there's a new transaction here in red that says it's unconfirmed and that I sent the 0 0.02. So that tells me that I did send it to the right address and that's why I'm sending a test transaction. So that means I could whitelist this address right here and save it somewhere safe, knowing that every time I send Monero to this address, it's gonna go through and I don't have to send a test transaction anymore. So it looks like in the transaction history, my test transaction went through. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off step number six here, which is to send the rest of the Monero to the second account. And what I'm gonna have to do is click send. And the address I'm getting is from my second account. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the amount. If you recall, I sent a test transaction of $2 and now I'm gonna send $98. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this number right here using this cryptocurrency converter calculator on coinmarketcap.com slash converter. And I'm gonna to go to the amount here and click paste. So I'm sending 0.86 and my balance is 1.3. So I have enough. I'll skip the payment ID and click send. And it's generating right now. And boom, transaction successful. But if I go back to the overview here and look at the transaction history, it's saying that it's processing right now and it's unconfirmed. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for that. And as soon as it's done, I'll come back to the video. Okay, and we're back. It looks like the final transaction went through and sent. So let's go, go ahead and check that out on the blockchain. I'm going to go back to this and search it and it looks like it actually pops up now. So that's good. The transaction went through and we could verify that 
by checking out the second account. So I'm gonna log out out of my first my Monero wallet and then log back in into my second wallet here and enter into that. And as you can see here, the second transaction went through the 0.86, which was about $98. So congratulations, you successfully converted your Bitcoin into Monero. And I also showed you how to send Monero to another account. So that about concludes this video. In my follow-up videos for Monero, I'm going to show you how to receive it, back it up, protect it, and even update the wallet. But for now, that concludes this video. If you enjoy watching my blockchain tutorials, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could also get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Check out the display address here on the screen or check out the link below. And you could also follow our cryptocurrency market team on Twitter. You could find me at Denny Lovejoy and you could find my crypto mentors, Taizen and LeonFu.com at HeyTaizen and LeonCFu. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, send them to me on Twitter. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again. Have a terrific day. And I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.